hey, thanks for coming to the webinar. It's going to be really exciting. We're getting ready to learn these awesome four chords. I'm Eric Roberts with Worship the King, and I want to give you just a little uh, backstory, uh, let you get to know me just a little bit before I jump into the teaching. And, uh, you know, I first picked up a guitar when I was about 14, and after that, I never put the guitar down. It's like a nonstop playing, obsessing sort of teenage thing, I guess, but it's uh, something I love to do. And that's just what happened. Now, when I turned about 17, I was in the 11th grade, I accepted Christ. A friend of mine led me to the Lord, and, and everything changed for me then. And that's when I knew that I wanted to take all of this sort of rock guitar and all the stuff I'd been doing as a kid, and I wanted to give that talent to Christ. And so that's what I did. I joined the youth group. I uh, started leading and learning and being mentored from older, older guys in the youth band. And uh, pretty soon I was leading worship for the youth group, and then that kind of led to me leading and uh, for the for the big church. I call it the big church. So I'm I'm leading worship, and so I kind of get into college, meet my wife, and I'm I'm teaching lessons to make my way through college, and I'm I'm struggling to find really good material. So I'm I'm right, handwriting all the charts for my students, and and I'm I'm finding that the traditional lessons. They're not really matched up with what I'm doing in the church band and how you know we're playing kind of like uh, pop rock songs and, and we're using simple chords, but all the traditional lessons seem to be teaching bar chords, movable things, and uh, all the different key signatures. And I thought, this is, this is super hard, but I'm teaching and I'm trying to develop my own thing. And when I got a job as a full-time worship leader, I was using, you know, really pretty much simple chords. And I go to a worship seminar and I notice uh, this you know famous worship leader up there he's playing his whole worship set that that evening for the seminar use just four chords just song to song four chords move this capo a few times and and I just that's when I really when it really hit me why are my students struggling why am I pushing them and and getting them to uh, struggle through all these tough chord changes when you know I'm being paid a full-time salary and uh, to play and I'm using four chords and these guys are out there, you know, making albums and records and, you know, leading in large churches. They're just using simple four chords. So that's really where the eight chords, 100 songs program and the, uh, the whole online system sort of began to, to grow and build. And that's um, really what I wanted to do is teach the real life way to play um, to simple chords for great songs. And so I started seeing my students, you know, come alive when they could just play three chords and all of a sudden, bam, they got a song and they sound good. So, you know, I'm, I'm solving that problem for my students and, and that's how I got here and all the stuff is on <clears throat> is online now. So it's all online lessons. So why do you want to struggle with the traditional chord forms? Let me show you. We're going to get right into this. I brought my guitar. And uh, why do you want to struggle with tra traditional chord forms when, when all the other guys are using simple stuff that sounds really cool and modern? So a traditional, um, you can look on my charts on my page here. You can download them uh, at the end of the webinar. But the traditional chord charts are G and C. So uh, this would be a G chord and a C chord and a D chord. E minor, those are still the same chords that we play, but notice how my hands have to go all over the place. I'm moving all over the place. So basically, when um, that, and they don't sound super modern. So I'm moving all over the place, and then I'm, I'm thinking to myself, those don't sound quite like the Tomlin or the Blosh song or the radio song I hear. They're doing something different. So what is it? And that's what I'm showing you in this webinar. The four really modern chords and uh, you can see them on the sheet G, C, E minor, D. I'm also going to show you how to use perfect posture to get rid of any of the problems that you had making chords and I'm going to show you how to keep your third pinky down. It's the pinky anchor that will help you kind of solidify all these chords together. So let's start with our posture. Our posture is open up, line up, grab, and tilt. So if you can do these four things and put them into your mind you're going to get away from any of the problems you've had in the pre past where your wrist is bent or you can't get all the notes and here's your chords sounding funny you're trying to push everything down so you basically take the guitar you hold it like this you open up your hand you got your hand straight out open you line up the bottom of your knuckles to the bottom of the guitar neck okay then you grab the guitar move back here to about the third fret 
and I want you to just tilt your hand down, leave your thumb up there, and you can wiggle your fingers like that. So you got the wiggle finger and you got the tilt down. Now this tilt is really important when we get to like the D chord because you have to tilt a lot to do a good D chord. In fact, if you don't tilt and you're not taught this really specific method of tilting your hand down, you'll, your D chord is almost impossible. That's why you're struggling uh, with these chord, with any chord pattern. So open up, line up, grab, and tilt. That's my first big takeaway that I want you to have today. My second one, um, and watch, watch. I want you to um, before I get to the second one, check this out. Open up, line up, grab. As you tilt down, your second finger is right there where you should be on the third fret. And that's the low third fret of the top string. So open up, line up, grab, tilt, and look at my hand is almost, I can move it around back and forth, it's practically in the position to play the G chord. Now what you do is, you leave that finger sort of pointing up this way at an angle, you can see how it's at an angle, you push down just a little bit on the tip of your finger, and you have a G chord, you have a perfect G chord. Okay, you have a perfect G chord. Now, if you want to, uh, you're, you're actually going to leave off this first finger. That's one of my tricks that I use. So you leave off this first finger and you take the third and fourth finger and you put them up here high. And notice my wrist is very straight. There's no bend and no ter terrible bend. And listen to all the notes that you can hear. This second note underneath my uh, finger is muted. But all the other notes sound. So you can hear a clean, totally clean sound. Now, there's a few reasons why I mute that. One of them is technique. Uh, I don't like, the, the first reason I don't play that, I don't like the sound of that third. So when you have that third, it sort of muddies up the low end. Now you might need it for finger picking or other things, but for 99, 90, 90 to 99% of the time, I don't use that. I leave this first finger for other things. You can do many other great things with that first finger if it's hanging off there. So you also, so you're selectively muting. That's one of your takeaways uh, that, that I talk about is selective muting. So you're going to have selective muting, you're going to have your third finger down, and you're going to use your posture trick. And there's your three big takeaways from uh, today's chord lesson. Okay, so your third finger is down here. You've got a great sounding G chord. Now if you want to play a C chord, then you just move this finger off, put it down. Now you have the C chord. So you can see on the paper, there's only three, three fingers on that C chord. So you go G, then you go C, now to do a D chord, or let's do the E minor first. E minor, you just take this first finger, put it right here, and you take this off. You can actually leave your third and fourth finger down if you want to. I show that in my chart. It's E minor. And then for a D, this is the fourth chord and it's an important chord. Let me show you how to get to a really easy D chord. And then I'm gonna put them in some songs and show you how I play them all together. A really easy D chord. From here, you take your second finger and you lead it down to the second fret of the high E. So you go like this. Take it off here, you go up there. So just take it right off here, off the top, put it down there. Your first finger is still just hanging out, and it goes on the second fret. So you have a D chord. Take off your pinky, because you'll, you'll have a better sound. That's a D suspension with your pinky. So if you want to get back to a G chord, you go up top first with your second finger. You lead with your second finger. Lead with your second finger to the G. To the D, you put it down here first. That one falls down, your pinky comes off. And you have a D chord. Now, let me show you what I was talking about with the tilt on the D chord. If you try to make a D chord without tilting, then you're all messed up. You got all kinds of problems. But if you tilt really far, after you open up, line up, grab, and you tilt really far, then you have these two fingers are almost right up to the fret on a D, okay? And then your third finger you put down as close to the fret, the third fret as you can. Your thumb can be hanging over or just slightly back. So you have your G, C, E minor, 
and D. Now, we go to the chart on how great is our God, and we're going to do a simple strumming pattern, and we're going to play these chords just like this. So it's like one, two, three, four, and a one. Let me get that camera adjusted just so you can see it. One, two, three, four, and a one. That's how we're doing a really simple strumming pattern. You can see on this chord chart how great is our God. G, E minor, C, and D. So let's imagine you're kind of beginning, but you're like, yeah, I can get those four chords. I can get, I can switch between those four chords. You're super close to this right here. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. to playing a really great song with just those four modern chords. Now one little trick for you guys who are kind of beginning and thinking, oh, that sounds, that sounds pretty good. Here's something just like my selective muting, muting different notes on the chords or not playing different uh, notes just to make it easier or sound better, get a really good tone. Here's another thing you can do. You can actually just play all the way, all six strings on the first beat. The rest of them, just playing the bottom three or four. Sometimes I just play the bottom two. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? And all will see how great. So I'm just kind of selectively strumming each one. It's the same exact strumming pattern, and this is a lot like what I teach in all my courses online and how I get you guys from just maybe being discouraged or hoping that one day you'll play to really uh, your family coming in and going, whoa, he can play, I, I recognize that song. Simple patterns, modern chords. Here's the, another great song. Watch, I'm doing the same exact strumming patterns, the same exact technique, but I get this. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. And everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior. Hope of simple chords and this is sort of like my my whole eight chords 100 songs is based on just these really simple moving in there camera like I'm my own cameraman so hey uh, the, it's four chords the, the whole program is based on those simple chords like the 10 song catapult is, is 10 songs just like this with four simple chords just like you have seen there so you know if you have any questions you need to email me at Eric at worshipthekeng.com. You can ask me any question or join me on my Facebook page. But, you know, I'm not really sure exactly why you showed up today, but I hope that it's because you want to learn, you know, to do worship for your small group or your church. Maybe it's your dream to kind of join your worship team or do something uh, fun. Or maybe you're saying, no, I don't want to play in front of people. I just want to play for myself, my own personal devotion time. So I don't know who you are, but I know what you don't want. You don't want to uh, search through the internet for poorly written chord charts, okay? You don't want to waste time searching on YouTube, trying to find helpful lessons. And you don't want to spend years to learn the guitar. 
when you can do confident playing in a matter of months, okay? It can take just months for you to be super confident and, and maybe even just a few weeks to be able to play these songs. You know why the pros make it look so easy? It's because it is easy. So with a little persistence and a little guidance from me, it's well within your reach. You know, it's really all about a choice that you make. You can do it slowly. You can kind of take what I've shown you today and kind of trial and error, try to get through and, and, and maybe do pretty well. And you'll probably be fine. But you don't have to struggle because I have personally done all of the hard work for you. I've created and tested a system that works. I've been teaching guitar for a long time. And this system takes you step by step, a whole thing. The main goal is that you'll learn fast, that you'll play well, and that you'll worship God. So I want to show you a few um, testimonies from my website. I'm going to read them off my website. You can go to worshipthekingcom You can watch videos. Um, I've done a lot of interaction with my students. And so Jim from Maryland says, I've already learned more in one day than I have with most of the lessons and videos I purchased to date. And Heidi says, I'm taking your one year course. I've tried to teach my guitar, uh, my, tried to teach my guitar, uh, myself guitar last year and I failed miserably. She says, I've learned more in 30 minutes taking your course than I've ever learned on my own. And uh, here's a good one, um, Rick, and he sent me a video, it's on the website of his band, his worship band. He said, you know, I got back into the guitar after 20 years of not playing and I was never very good to begin with. Your program is what gave me the confidence to start playing at church. Being a part of the worship team has been a great blessing in my life. And he goes on to say, I got it for a Christmas gift. Um, and he's, I'm not sure if it was a gift so he could, you know, his wife wouldn't have to listen to him play and suffer or if uh, she just really thought, I want you to learn. Anyway, the program helped him. And um, now, now she'll come into the room and, and listen to him and, and knows exactly uh, the song he's playing. And, um, Kyle Holmes, another another great student. He's actually on missions trips now. He's a full-time missionary, him and his family, and they're playing. They use it just for that. Um, Jenny from Kids Love Travel, I met her at a homeschool convention, but she joined her youth band, and actually I met her a couple years in a row, and every year it was like a little better. And that, that second year I met her, she was actually leading worship for her youth band, and she was the worship. She was telling me, I'm teaching other people how to, how to lead worship. I'm teaching these young kids. And so, you know, it, it can start with, four chords. Um, anyway, there, there's so many testimonials I can't read anymore today on this webinar. But the good news is four chords can really change everything. It doesn't matter if you've been playing for 10 years or 10 minutes. When you start using these modern shapes and patterns, your songs can come alive. So I put something together for you, the big five. These are the five big things that you need to do if you want to be really good at guitar. You need to use the right modern chords. That's one. Number two, you need to follow solid song charts. And so many of them out there on the internet are messed up and goofy and people just are struggling just to get it in the right key. My songbooks put them in the easy keys and all the chords are checked over and over and over again. We edit and edit and edit. Make sure the chords are right above the lyrics where they should be so you can play them. Number three, you need to use the right strumming patterns. And that's the biggest question I get every, every time is what pattern should I use? I'm trying to learn guitar. Uh, what pattern should I use? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this song for church. What pattern should I use? You know, in my course, I teach you 15 core patterns, and we go right into. We can take those basic patterns, even just four or five of those 15, at syncopation, palm muting, all the the stuff that makes your song sound better, and you can actually learn to hear a song on the radio and know exactly what chord uh, strumming pattern to play. I break it down for you. That uh, that awesome like. And number four. You need to master the tricks of the pros. And these are the things that make your song sizzle, like a little finger picking, a little paw muting. Little things go a long way. And number five, if you can put it all together at your skill level, not going too crazy and getting discouraged or not staying too beginner and never getting good, you put it together at your skill level. If you do these five things, you'll grow a little bit every day. And that's how you become a great guitar player. A little bit at a time, every day, steadily growing. So, what is Worship the King Gold? It's really, it's my whole year program. It includes online courses with lesson plans, charts, up close videos. It has a new gold song lesson every single week. I'm uploading a brand new lesson with charts and videos, and sometimes it's five 
video lessons for one song. Sometimes it's just two or three, depending on what I'm trying to teach you. But every week, you have a new gold song lesson. Plus, you're gonna get access as a gold member to all the archives. And at the time I'm recording this video, in July of 2016, we have over 60 song lessons and growing every single week. So you can log in 24 seven, it's all digital, it's literally step by step, and nothing is left out. It's a complete blueprint. All the gold song lessons, they're divided into five learning levels. So you can start easy, very easy, three chord songs with one pattern, that's it. It's not gonna overwhelm you. And as you get a little better, you're gonna step into level two, you're gonna go up to level three, and pretty soon you're gonna be in level five, you can play any song. And a lot of the songs I make my own arrangements, I show you exactly how I would do it or how um, the pro is doing it himself, I show you what you need to do. So, you know, if you wanna be successful, you find someone who's achieved the results you want, right? You say, I like, oh, that guy's got, and you copy what they do. And that's what I do with all of my lessons. I show you what they're, the artists are doing, and you can achieve the same results very easily. Not being a virtuoso, but just knowing and being able to apply it. So, if you wanna join Worship the King Gold, that's what I would encourage you to do. That's, uh, people ask me, what's the st starting point? Where should I start? Well, you can buy any of my courses individually. You can buy any of my books individually through Amazon, uh, right through my website. You can buy eBooks. I've made my materials very easy to get, but they're all included in Worship the King Gold. And because you're here today, you're gonna have uh, some bonuses. So first, you're gonna get the 10 song Christmas song pack. It's 10 easy Christmas songs with four chords. So everybody loves, I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays for music. And you can learn as a family. So your whole family can play, they can access the gold lessons. So it multiplies your value and your savings. And you get one more big webinar bonus if you join today, if you go ahead and join on this page. And you're gonna get five of my best charts from my early guitar books and lessons. So kind of the core stuff, some of the stuff that, that uh, my guitar teacher used to do and give me some of those things, I'm gonna give them to you. It's the only place you can get them is if you join through this webinar. And you're thinking, uh, well, how much, okay, how much does it cost? Well, if you were to take private lessons once a, once a week, 30 minutes, and I taught thousands of them, so I'm very familiar with the pricing structure and the cost to a family, but private lessons cost would typically cost you about $1,000 a year per student. So $1,000 a year you could be paying to take to take one of your kids or to maybe if you're an adult and you have kids, think oh, that's a lot of money to take out of the budget to for you to go and drive to lessons. Um, but that's what it costs, just for one. Uh, you'd also have to get in the car and go do that stuff, and uh, that would take that takes a ton of time. With Worship the King Gold, you can do it at your own pace. You do uh, you take it as you want it. You take as many lessons as you want. You can do all the lessons, you know, in one you know just week. You can just sit there with your eyes on the screen all week like that, or you can take one a week, uh, and you can learn as many songs as you want. And uh, here's what you're gonna do: if you want to join, it's only ninety nine dollars for the entire year. So you can join for $99. That adds up to about, uh, divides out to about $8 per month. All the materials included, all the lessons included, all the bonuses included. It's just $99 for the entire year. Now, if you, if you think that's a stretch, I'm not sure I want to drop 99 bucks today, and you think I just want it, you can do a, a monthly membership as well. It's $12 a month. You can access it as much as you want all month, and that is a great deal too. So uh, you save a little bit if you do the whole year, but either way, what I want you to do today is I want you to join Worship the King Gold and start your journey with me now. I want you to do it. You can get instant access as soon as you click in, as soon as you uh, put in your credit card, or your PayPal information, you're gonna be able to go right into the member dashboard. You're gonna be able to start learning from day one, start picking your level, and you're gonna start feeling empowered. And if you have any questions about this, um, make sure you save this page and you click this button right on this page so you make sure you get your webinar bonus, your five charts. But if you have any questions, you can always send them to Eric, E-R-I-C, with a C, E-R-I-C, at worshipthekeng.com. And I want to hear from you. I want to know what you thought about this webinar. I want to know what you want to learn next. Um, that's just the last thing I'm going to say to you. Uh, before we end this video is when you become a gold member, you're becoming my private personal student. 
My Facebook group is there for you. My email is open to you. Uh, all the materials are there for you. And I'm doing special webinars for gold members only sometimes. There's little perks that you get along the way. And it's just um, sort of creating a relationship and watching you grow. Uh, make sure you check it out and really make a choice today if you really want to learn worship guitar, which is why you're here today. Let's do it together. All right, God bless you.